Cannabis and succulents are some of our most interesting plants, and we have told you about them before, but they're also some of the most interesting to try to reproduce. Many of the succulents, you can actually just take one of the leaves off of the plant and allow it to dry for a few days. It'll develop a layer of callus tissue on the outside, and then all you have to do is lay it on top of either some sand or some soil, and eventually it'll send out new roots and new leaves and a whole new plant will start from that leaf, just like we do with African violets that most people are interested in. They also have many varieties that bloom and you can also collect seed from the plants that bloom, just like we do with many of our other blooming plants. There's lots of different varieties of shapes and colors, but the thing about succulents and cactus that we like in our homes is that they're very easy to care for, and sometimes people will say that they don't have a green thumb or that they have a black thumb, and that these are plants that most anybody can care for in a home that has a somewhat dry environment and probably a south or a southwest exposure so that they can get plenty of sunlight. The University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman, and you're watching From the Ground Up. Thank you.